The water of baptism is special. It's special and powerful because it's connected to the Word of God. This is why it saves us. Our old friend Pat needed to learn how special the water of baptism is and how it changes our lives. As always, Chris was there to help him. Hey Chris, why so gussied up? My baby sister was baptized this morning. I was her sponsor. Ah, baptism. I remember the good old days when the incoming ninth grade class all received baptisms. I was one of the first baptizees at the new high school. Huh? You remember, the seniors would gather us in the bathroom, say a nice few words, and swoosh, swirlies, welcome to ninth grade. We were initiated. Baptism by fire. Well, water, really. Well, my oxygen-deprived friend, I hate to be the one to tell you, but the concept of baptism is a wee bit different from the swirly initiation you received as a freshman. How do you mean? I mean, th there's more to it than a high school prank led by the tidy bowl man. They both have to do with water, don't they? Yeah, but baptism is not just water. It's water used together with God's word, used by God's command. Well, hey, I remember the words of command and promise. Stick your head in that toilet, or I promise you'll get a wedgie up to your shoulders. Actually, real baptism has a different command and a completely different promise. Jesus called us to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the promise is all who believe and are baptized will be saved. Saved? That sounds a little better than the initiation I had. I wish someone had saved me from that. I would have had to smell a toilet bowl freshener the whole day. But I'm still confused. In baptism, is it one splash and you're done? Well, yes and no. We are baptized only once, and through it we have eternal salvation. But baptism is also the beginning, like birth is the beginning. From there on, we live it. Every day, the sinful self must be drowned through repentance, and you rise anew. Through baptism into the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we rise and walk like new people. And it's something we do every day. New people? Newness of life. That's the whole point. Rising each day to newness of life. Every day? If I get a swirly each day, I'm bound to get a dry scalp. We're talking head and shoulders. No, no, remember, it's a one-time deal. Once you are part of God's family... God remembers. Then comes the living forgiven, living like you are in God's family. Oh, that's good. Must be a huge water bill for the church with all that flushing. You're waterlogged. What do you say we make like Mahatma and be Gandhi? Huh? Let's go. When we were baptized, we were changed. And the salvation that baptism brings is a one-time deal and never needs to be repeated. At the same time, as baptism works new life in us through faith in Christ, we carry out this new life in the God-pleasing things we think, say, and do. This is a continual process. We'll learn more about the new life given in baptism at our catechism event this Sunday. Click the link in the email to answer the question in preparation for this Sunday's lesson.